guys, I've been adding green tea to my post-workout smoothie and I'm loving the results. After a workout, your body is already in that fat burning stage and having green tea can only increase that effect. My smoothie consists of a frozen banana, one teaspoon of green tea, a tablespoon of beet powder, a scoop of pea protein, and I'm gonna slice this avocado. Here's my water. I'm just gonna add all of the ingredients. The protein powder, you know, protein is good for building muscles. Green tea has so many benefits. I'm gonna discuss it in the video. Beet powder is awesome at improving blood flow to tired muscles. Now for my frozen banana. Uh, get in there. Get in there, okay? <laughs> I like to use a frozen banana because it actually makes the smoothie creamier. I add avocado for fat to help me stay full longer. I know this is not a normal ingredient for a smoothie, but I do find that having an avocado in my smoothie helps me to stay full longer and I'm able to not snack as much. So now I'm going to go ahead and blend this up. I think I may have added too much water, but let's go. Yes, it's squirting out. I added a little bit too much water. And here we go, that's it. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Getting Healthy with Dr. T. I'm here to give you tips on how you can get healthy and stay fit. So for the past seven days, I've added green tea to my post workout shakes. I recently did a video on all the health benefits of green tea. Helping to boost your metabolism, increase focus, help with digestion, improve bad breath, and the list goes on. I'll link that video right here. But today I'm here to talk about adding green tea to your post-workout meal, whether it being a hot drink, a shake, regardless of what it is, having it as a post-workout, you will see a major difference. So for the past seven days, I've added green tea to my post-workout shake, and I have seen a big difference in my belly fat once again. So let me first start out by discussing how you accumulate fat in the first place. When you eat food, you consume calories and your body sees these calories as energy. To your body, calories equals energy. When you consume more calories, energy, than you use, your body stores it for later use. And when this energy isn't used, your body then stores it as fat. And for me, that's usually right here in my belly area. The reason our body holds on to energy is because it needs it for the normal functions within our body, like transporting nutrients where they need to go, clearing out dead cells in our body, clearing out cancers, getting rid of free radicals, and the list goes on. All of these functions within our body requires energy. Basically, all of the behind the scene things, things that we don't even know are occurring on a daily basis. Now, fat accumulates when we consume calories we're not active and our body continuously stores it as fat. And it's usually in all the places you don't want it to be stored in. So basically your body is saying, oh, okay, so you're giving me all of this energy. I guess we're gonna need it eventually. Let me go ahead and store it here, here, and here so we can use it later. But guess what? You never use it and it just sits there and it just builds up and that's how we accumulate fat. So here's why I decided to add green tea to my post-workout shake. When you first start to work out, your body starts by burning calories. And after about 10 to 15 minutes, you chime into your fat storage. And this really depends on the intensity of your workout and how many carbohydrates you already have floating around in your system. Side note, that's why it's a good reason to either work out fasting or with very little calories 
in your system. And that's why it's a good idea to consume very little calories before you work out. Of course, if you're new to working out, take it easy. You have something to eat so you don't pass out doing your workout. But for people that work out on a regular basis, you burn more fat when you're working out fasting or when you have very little calories in your system. So after 10 to 15 minutes of working out, you start to tap into your fat storage. And at this point, you're no longer burning calories, you're burning fat. And green tea helps with fat burning. Green tea helps with metabolism, it increases your metabolism, it increases your digestion, and it has the ability to burn fat. Green tea is full of catechins, which are antioxidants, the main one being EGCG, that's responsible for all of the fat burning properties within it. So I figured adding it to my post-workout drink could only be a plus, and I was right. After working out, I'm already in that fat burning stage. I add green tea to my post-workout shake to help facilitate the fat burning process, and it really does matter which green tea you decide to use. I use matcha, which is a pulverized version of green tea. Like I mentioned before, green tea is so healthy because it's loaded with catechin. There was a study done in 2003 and found that when you pulverize green tea, the catechins are increased by 137%. It has also been found to help out with good bacteria by increasing the ratio of good gut bacteria to bad gut bacteria. EGCG is responsible for the fat burning properties of green tea. And once again, the pulverized version of green tea will have more of this component the EGCG. And this is why I choose to use matcha green tea because it is the pulverized version of green tea. EGCG also helps to fight off exercise induced free radicals, therefore reducing inflammation and muscle soreness. And free radicals are byproducts of your normal metabolic process, but in excess causes cell damage. It has less caffeine than coffee, so you're able to reap the benefits of being alert without being jittery. It also contains an amino acid called L-thionine that works synergistically with caffeine to improve brain function and clarity. So you're alert and focused throughout the day. So by having green tea after you work out, you're increasing the fat burning potential of the green tea, of your workout, and it's a plus plus all around. After a workout, your body is already in that fat burning stage and having green tea will increase the fat. So go ahead and try green tea before your workout, after your workout, and drop me a comment below and let me know how it goes for you. Thank you for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. Be sure to share it with a friend that's struggling with weight loss. Follow me on Instagram at Getting Healthy with Dr. T, where I show you quick and easy health tips on how you can stay healthy, get healthy, and live your best life. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you next week.